You announced last night that you're going to support a law passed last month in New York City, which will allow roughly 800,000 legal non-citizens to vote in local elections, provided that they've lived in New York for at least 30 days. You previously called the bill problematic and expressed concern about giving a right to vote to non-citizens who have only been here for a short amount of time. I think there are a lot of Americans watching right now who might share your concerns and, and also have more broadly questions about the idea of people who have not taken a citizenship test, prepared for that test by learning about the U.S., who haven't sworn an oath to the country, getting to vote. Why did you change your mind and why is it acceptable for non-citizens to vote in an American election? No, I did not change my mind. I supported the concept of the bill. The one aspect of that I had a problem with and I thought was problematic was the 30-day part of being in the country for 30 days was the place that I had questions. And I sat down with my colleagues. I'm a big believer in uh, conversation. We have to start talking to each other and not at each other. And after hearing their rationale and their theories behind it, uh, I thought it was more important to not veto the bill or get in the way at all and allow the bill to move forward. In New York City, just Brooklyn, for example, 47 percent of Brooklyn, I speak a language other than English at home when I was the bar president. And so I think it's imperative that people who are in a local municipality have the right to decide who's going to govern them. And I support the overall concept of that bill. Doesn't the bill just make a mockery of the idea of American citizenship, though? I mean, this is just for local elections. But does that mean like next uh, New York City is going to want non-citizens to vote in federal elections? I mean, it, and what do you say to all the people who went through the process, the difficult process of becoming an American citizen, studying for the test, swearing an oath of allegiance to the United States of America, who, who now see this legislation just saying, well, anyone who's here, you can go ahead and vote? Uh, well, I, I tell to I say to them, keep doing it. Uh, you know, membership has its privileges of uh, being a member of what we call the United States of America is a great privilege. And I, I would tell them, keep doing it, be encouraged. Uh, this is a great opportunity to be, to be a member of this great country. Uh, don't let anything daunt you or take you away from that mission. Uh, this legislation is not going to do that. Keep becoming a citizen of this country.